MATLAB is a software by MathWorks Incorporation. You must be knowing about it and you must have been introduced by the guide tool that is graphical user interface development environment. As soon as I write in command window guide and put enter, it will open up and ask me for blank GUI. I will say yes and OK. And here I am with uh, the new GUI that is over here. You can see it right now. Now I'll maximize it. I'll change its area as per my requirement. Now, uh, in a calculator, we need two panels one input, one output. Input is our keys, and that will be buttons, and output is our screen. So, for input, will uh, like uh, for, in for output, we'll take screen like this. Okay, and for input, I, we can have buttons like this. So I'll put a button over here. Simple. Okay. So similarly, I can have n number of buttons like copying this one and pasting this. Right. So right now I'll delete it. So this is it. Now for doing anything like uh, changing the property of anything, what you can do is you can just click on right and go into property inspector. You can change it any kind of properties for example if you want to change the color you can change the color like this click ok the color is changed now for example uh, the text what you need to do with the screen is you need to go in string here the string is there you can see so in string what you need to do is you can, you can click on that and instead of edit text put spaces that is it as soon as put your spaces put ok in the tag, we need to change two properties of anything. One is tag, one is string. So I'll give the tag display. You can give any tag, but you need to remember it. I think this is it. Now for button, for example, what I'll do is I'll double, I'll right click on that, or I can double click on that to open this property inspector. I can change its color like this, and then I'll change its string. I'll make its string to one and which is visible on the button and I'll change its tag to any one I can also change its size make it normal to bold I think there are a lot of things that you can do with that so this is it now similarly we can design buttons and number of buttons whatever required so this is it see now what we have done is similar to one we have designed button 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 then 0 C is for clear, we have put its uh, so called tag clear and string is C. Similarly, for equal as well, what we have done is put its tag equal and the string e equal symbol. And similarly, for these operations as well, put their tag like add, add subtract, multiply, and divide, and uh, string the symbol of the same operation. So, similarly, this is done, but you have what you want exactly. And now you can also put something uh, tag, static text over here. We can write them whatever you want. Like uh, we can write them designed by Robo India Technologies. Like that. So this is how we're done. We can uh, design it as well in whatever format you want. Now we'll just put save button. We'll save it with anything like let's say Calci. Calci one, we want to save it with Calci one. We will save it with Calci one, and like this, it's done. As soon as you save it, it will open up the program and edit a window of that. Now here you can design the callback for every kind of button, for every push button. Now if you go from starting, you can see here the push button is starting from one. Now one, two, three, four, five. Similarly, what you need to do is now the callback buttons. And then you need to write a bunch of programs that is for example a equals to get what uh, that is h object string it means the whatever the button is pressed we are saving it in a variable called a now as soon as another button is pressed it will get transferred and displayed on as soon as another button is placed, it will get displayed and transferred on display. So we have put the tag for display. If you remember, it is display. So we'll write handles dot display and string. 
So here we are done with that. Now c equals to what you need to write is b space a. Now next is we need to print everything on display. So we'll write handles dot display. C. So this is how we need to do it. Now as soon as I save it and as soon as I save it, run it, it open this. Now I, I click on one, one is displayed over there. So similarly I need to program same thing. I need to copy the program and paste everywhere I want this to happen. It can be pasted at simple callback functions uh, which is numeral buttons as well the operations add subtract and everywhere will paste the same but same codes except equal and clear see see I'm pasting it everywhere now at equal I'll not paste it what I'll do at equal is I'll put it uh, for, for, sorry sorry at clear at clear I'll not paste it or I'll do at clear it I'll handle the display with blank handles dot display I'll set handles dot display string and which string I'll paste is blank bracket so it will clear up everything what I want now again what's remaining is the zero I'll press the callback function with equal is remaining I'll left, leave the equal as it is now with equal what I'll do is what I'll do with equal is I'll write a equals to get I want as soon as equal is pressed whatever the function is generated whatever the uh, function is generated whatever the operations are generated and written over that I need the result of them to be printed so handles dot display string is a now what I'll do is I'll form another variable now name a1 I'll write str to num a it means the final result will be converted from string to numeral and then I'll display it as I want as we do normally all right handles dot display So this is all I need to do with equal. So here we have covered all the callbacks button whatever we need to do. I'll save it and I'll run it. Now see if I press 2 it will be 12. If I press plus 6 and equal it is 18. So it is working very fine 180 and if I want to uh, multiply by 9 it is something. Sorry if it is 80 multiplied by 9 and press equal it is something if I want to clear it it is clear so see guys here as we have designed the calculator using a MATLAB graphical user interface development environment tool and uh, for any other queries you can contact us at 